Hey everybody, Yogi here, doing well. Hope you're doing well. It is a beautiful, I mean, we've had a great stretch of weather here in Wisconsin. Um, it hasn't rained for probably two weeks. Um, it is a beautiful late May afternoon. It is about 80 degrees. And I just want to film an update for you. Um, before the WW2, the World War II reenactment at Pioneer Village, I, I did an upload for um, updates around West Bend. And one of the things, West Bend, Wisconsin, where I live, and one of the things was um, a place called Toucan Custard. Well, it turns out Toucan Custard has been bought. Well, it's not going to be Toucan Custard for much longer. Um, that has been bought. And um, they have a target date of July to open around uh, the first or, you know, around Independence Day, around that area. Um, it's going to be called West Bend Creamery. They're still going to sell um, ice cream here and they're going to do burgers. But they are changing things up. Um, no longer will be the um, neon or the 50s look to it. Um, I don't really know what they're going to do as far as that black glass. Um, that's probably going to stay like that, but they've already started painting. It used to be that purple color, and now it's um, being painted over. And yeah, in about a month, a little over a month, that will be the West Bend Creamery. So two cans. As far as the name goes, not anymore. Won't be a two cans anymore, but it will be West Bend Creamery. So that's uh, stop number one. I'm at the Carl M. Cuss Field, capacity 524. Huh. I didn't know you could just walk in here. I thought there was like it would be gated off or something, you know. So what kind of view we got? That's not too bad. And there you go. Still putting up lights. Got some set of lights over there. Set of lights over there yet. Still putting up lights out here. Not bad. What's going on? Something that I um wanted to talk about today. Wish I had my sunglasses, but they broke on me. As a matter of fact, this GoPro floaty handle that I have on my my camera on that broke too <laughs> so i'm gonna either have to try to i don't know if i can glue that back on i might just have to get another handle i actually do have another handle at home beautiful day today temperatures in the 80s it's actually memorial day peaceful very peaceful out here today i like this i like the quiet so starting um in June um, I'm gonna be going on patron patreon and uploading it I'm gonna be starting to up upload all my episodes there like 24 hours in advance I know that probably doesn't mean a whole lot to people but I'm just trying to give people an incentive to want to sign up to patreon because um, when you think about it what we do on YouTube it's it's pretty um, it's kind of like a, a second full-time job. Um, we are out and about videotaping, making episodes, and then, um, you know, there's people that just kind of don't edit and just throw up any old thing. And then there's people that actually put time and effort into our, our episodes like I do. I'm not saying uh, nobody else does. I'm just saying that I, I do put effort into mine when I'm editing. I did um, purchase an expensive hard, uh, software for that. To do that takes, um, depending on the length of the video, I mean, I could be editing for hours, you know. I may not be the greatest at it. When I first started doing my videos, I had no experience in editing whatsoever. I bought the, the uh, hardware, the software for it, and then just started tinkering with it and tinkering with it and tinkering with it. And it's been three years. It, it, it takes effort. You know, this isn't just, you know, I, I love what I do. Also, in order for me to be able to do big, bigger and better things, go on more road trips, I'm going to have to 
somehow get that kind of income outside of what I do for my, my job right now. And I thought Patreon would be a great way. You know, with Patreon, it, it, you just can't um, sign up and, and do it for, you know, p people want something in return. They don't want, um, they don't want to sign up for something and just not get anything in return. But, but on Patreon, there are things you get. You, you get live streams. If I do a live stream on Patreon, you get bonus footage, you get bonus episodes. But then I thought, you know, the people who are paying on Patreon, they deserve to see the finished product first. Starting in June, my episodes will be exclusively on Patreon for the first 24 hours. And then the day after that, I will upload them to YouTube. Now, it doesn't seem like a whole lot of people are like, well, pfft. I'm not paying him money. I'm just going to wait and not wait a day to upload it on YouTube, which is fine. But I figured the people who are actually paying to help support this channel and help this channel grow and help me to do um, more road trips and things like that, because, you know, things, things, unfortunately, you got to pay for things. You got to pay for gas for road trips. If I would go on a road trip, it's lodging, you know, that stuff, you know, it, it can be pretty expensive. And I'm just being honest. Patreon will get the first crack at the videos starting in June and then like 24 hours later the following day I will post them to YouTube. Um, again if you want to go to www.patreon.com forward slash road trips with Yogi all together road trips with Yogi but each word with a capital letter R for road, T for trips, W for with, Y for Yogi. Um, go on there and see what I have to offer. I've you know I, I I have put bonus episodes on there. Um, I haven't done live streams as of yet because I'm trying to get that Patreon to grow. Um, so I mean, if you're looking to, um, if you have like five bucks a month, and I know in this day and age, it's hard to come up with an extra five dollars a month. But if you like this channel and you support, you know, you want to support my my adventures, um, I would greatly appreciate that. You will get a um, personalized um, thank you from me to you on the patreon channel and um, again there's gonna be live streams it's gonna be um, there is bonus content on there um, there's going to be contests there's going to be there's gonna be a, there's there's gonna be other things to choose from so if you if you like what I'm doing and you want to see the extra content please go to patreon and consider subscribing on there become a patron five bucks as little as five bucks a month and there's all sorts of other great things you can do on that site as well play ball no okay never mind it says here Carl M. Cuss 1911 1966 this baseball field is dedicated to the memory of Carl M. Cuss who unselfishly gave of his time for the betterment of youth and sports in the city of West Bend. It is through his tireless efforts and dedication he was instrumental, or through his tireless efforts and dedication, he was instrumental in building a great baseball tradition in the city that exists to this day. They got like corporate donors over here, lifetime donors, wall of fame. Scholarships. And the WBBA, West Bend Baseball Association. Now when they had the old um, field here, this was all closed off. This was all fenced off so you couldn't get in here. But now with the new grandstand uh, bleacher area, everything's open. Which is nice because now you can see this stuff because you could only see it before if there was a game going on or something like that because they had it closed off by the way folks i'm in regner park in west bend wisconsin it is uh, a beautiful park just outside of downtown Such a beautiful sound. Just sit here and just listen. Yeah. 
They usually have the duck races here on July 4th every year. This little creek just kind of winds through the park. It looks like the Regnar Park Lagoon is going to be open this year. Last summer, they did not open because they could not find enough lifeguards. Which was a shame, but uh, looks like the lagoon will be open for swimming this summer. They did a whole bunch of uh, renovations to the bathhouse. I suppose we could take a quick walk over there. Oh, be nice. Not gonna hurt you. Just looking. They're marching. They're marching into the forest. Very nice. Nice little outdoor patio area. Hmm. Ooh, they need some fire pits out here for winter. Do some s'mores for when they do the ice rink. I don't know if they did the ice rink last winter, to be honest. I don't know. Some restrooms out here and outside now. I think this whole part here is new. I think. Oh, they're repaving everything. Oh! Okay. That is a new parking lot that never existed. At least I don't recall it, I recall it existing. But there's a new parking lot here. Huh. You know, it's such a beautiful day and Memorial Day usually means, you know, maybe there are more people out here over the weekend picnicking and stuff, but pretty quiet here today. Not a whole lot of people picnicking or doing anything like that, so. Hmm. Seriously, I could throw a chair down right here. Maybe a lounge chair. Let's fall asleep. It's that soothing sounding. Meditations with Yogi coming soon. We are now downtown West Bend. And I filmed this a little while ago as well, probably a couple months ago, but there's been progress made on the Riverwalk. And some of it's actually open for business now. So that's how it's gonna look, I guess, all the way down. I guess it's gonna go under the bridge now on 33, which is cool. There's the Milwaukee River, my old friend. Some people down there fishing. <laughs> They're actually in the water. I don't know if they're fly fishing or what they're doing. But here we go. This is all done. All sidewalk now. Poured concrete filled in. I guess these are benches you can sit on. Or a bench. Enjoy the views of the river. They got canoes on over there. There's a place that rents canoes. The Milwaukee River is pretty, pretty popular as far as canoeing goes. And here, I don't know if they're having live bands here anymore or not, but they used to have like a little stage out here and they'd have bands perform. But yeah, this is all done now. Very nice. Nice walkable. Look, you can even take a brick if you want. Here, free bricks. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't take a brick. That gentleman's fishing over there. They got steps on certain parts of the river now. Right here. Go walk down right to the river. And there's the canoers on the other side of the bridge there. There's the Wisconsin Museum of Art. And let's go walk up through here and see how Main Street's looking. Pretty torn up, but let's take a look anyway. This is downtown Main Street, West Bend, Wisconsin. It'll be interesting to see what it is when it's done. Right now, it can almost pass for Tombstone. It's interesting that you can just sit here in the middle of the road in downtown West Bend and nothing happens to you. 
Yeah, I don't think one business is open down here this today. Well, actually, Tenny's, I think, was open for a while. They might still be open. No, he's closing the doors and locking them. They're closed. Oh, West Bend Theater. I wanted to tell you about the West Bend Theater. Um, something might be coming up as far as the West Bend Theater. Well, tentatively, something is coming up involving the West Bend Theater in June. And that's all I'm allowed to say. Hopefully, I'll be able to say more about it. But we'll see. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a pretty deep, pretty deep slope coming down here. What they should do in the winter is ice this down, put a ramp at the, <laughs> at the edge of the, <laughs> the water, and try to clear, <laughs> clear the Milwaukee River on a sled. Who knows? I don't know. I'm talking out of my butt. So West Bend has become quite the mixture of new and old. That used to be, when I first moved up here, a Goodyear tire center. Now it's a coffee place and uh, I don't even know what it, I think the whole thing is a coffee place now? I don't know. None of these buildings existed at all in this whole block. There were older buildings that didn't exist. Obviously the river walk as it is, as they're working on it now didn't exist. So a lot has changed in the I don't know, 26 years since I moved up here. I used to live in Milwaukee. That's where I'm from. Oh, they've got some artwork. How did I not see that artwork? They've got the Four Seasons. Ooh, look at that spider web. Ooh. You got spring, summer, winter, fall. So you got the Four Seasons, but no Frankie Valley. Another thing I wanted to talk about was um, my viewership duration. Now it's 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 interesting because I put up a poll. Oh geez, probably about a month ago, asking people how long of a YouTube video do you watch? half the video, maybe a minute of the video, all the video, and I had 100% of the people who answered that poll say they watched the whole video, which thank you very, very much. If you watch the whole video, thank you. I know these, some of these videos get pretty long, and it's really hard holding people's attention. So I try to keep mine usually around like the 10 minute, 12 minute mark, somewhere around there. But I've noticed like views, uh, view duration average on a lot of my videos. Now, I don't know if this is YouTube playing a cruel joke or something, but I happen to see that my view durations are like at three minutes, two minutes. We're talking 10 minute, 12 minute episodes, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, but yeah, it's it's telling me that the people who view my um, episodes are not sticking around. And that's given me the impression that I'm not making content that's that's keeping your attention. This this channel is just what I do. This is what Yogi does. I'm not trying to please anybody. Um, I make them because I like to make them, and I, I hope that people will enjoy them and watch the full episodes, the whole episode. Um, there's a lot of, of people that I follow on YouTube that I do watch their full episodes. Um, off Rep Adventures, Nomadic Fanatic. Um, I, I generally try to stick around and watch the whole episode. Ooh, we're coming up to the wooden bridge. This bridge is scary but it's still ex it's still here <laughs> so we're gonna go across it ah you're not supposed to go more than five miles an hour but here we are going over the eisenbahn trail Ugh. yeah that's creepy comment below because i really want to know what you guys are thinking um do my videos interest you do they um only keep your attention for a certain couple of minutes because i'm thinking to myself 
I guess I should only be making like five minute episodes or something because I'm not holding people's attention spans or attention. And, um, you know, it's kind of hard because their algorithms, you know, I, I think have to do a lot with how, how much of the episode people watch. And, um, you know, so that's a little concerning. It's, I have like 745, I think, subscribers right now. And thank you all very, very much for subscribing to my channel. But, you know, from the, from the views I have, the duration just shows a lot of people just not being interested. And again, I want to do stuff that makes me happy, but I also want people to like what I'm doing. So comment below if you have any suggestions you want to offer up like, hey, Yogi, maybe you should try doing more of these videos. Should I do more abandoned videos? Should I do... Uh, more of the uh, small town where I drive around and I tell you the populations and famous people from those towns. Um, let me know, you know, don't be afraid to comment. I usually respond to every comment with either a like, with a thumbs up, or most of the time I will comment back. So offer some suggestions because I, I really like what I, I, li I like doing this channel, but I also want people to enjoy what they're seeing and want to do this channel let's communicate you know that's gonna do it for this episode of road trips with yogi uh again folks thank you very very much for subscribing and watching the videos and commenting i appreciate it um lets me know that you're out there and you're watching these videos i hope this isn't shaking too much i'm holding the camera in my hand i usually have it on a mount on my dash or on my window but i'm holding it in my hand <laughs> um so please like share share the videos if you think somebody's gonna like this video share it you know share some of the other videos um it's free doesn't cost you anything subscribing is free it doesn't cost you anything either um but if you would like to monetarily help the channel there is www.patreon.com forward slash road trips with yogi each word with a capital letter road trips with yogi but the words are together and again you there's different tiers you can sign up for um i would i would be forever thankful um that you're willing to put your faith in in me and um help fund these adventures so i can do better things and see better you know go to better attractions go see more stuff in the in the country um, even though Wisconsin's a pretty big state and there's a lot to show you here, you know, I'd like to venture out and check out some other things. Route 66 is a, and I know it's been done to death, but it has been done yogi style. It has been done to death yogi style, yeah. So, I would like to check that out. Um, again, check out Patreon. Just go visit the page. You don't have to sign up or nothing. See what I have to offer. If it interests you as little as five dollars a month, great. Um, other than that, that's going to do it for this episode of Road Trips with Yogi. Until the next episode, folks. I am Yogi, and I thank you again. I'm out of here. <laughs>